Hi, I'm Neil Cannon, the author of The Vitality Secret and creator of the award-winning Inflammation Solution Program. If you're between the ages of 18 and 98, and if you're a man or a woman, I've got a really important message for you. What if there was one hidden health hazard that was the root of almost every common illness that we just grow to accept as part of life? It might be a skin condition like eczema or psoriasis or acne or dermatitis. Or it might be a breathing problem like asthma. Or it might be a digestive problem like IBS or IBD, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. Or it might be food and animal allergies. What if when this same silent killer, when it became chronic, it's actually what leads to every chronic disease that exists. It literally builds the foundations for chronic diseases like cardiovascular disease, which includes heart attacks and strokes, cancer, most forms of cancer, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, neurodegenerative decline when your brain deteriorates with conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. What if this same silent killer was actually behind hormonal imbalance in both men and women, which has led to a decrease in testosterone in men and all sorts of hormonal problems with women? What if it often goes undetected and most doctors will never test you for it until something really serious happens? What if there was not a single drug which could treat it at its root? Finally, my final what if is what if your body's ability to heal itself is greater than anyone has ever permitted you to believe. Before I go on, you're probably wondering who I am and how I came across this topic and why you should invest any more of your time right now to listen to what I have to say. So a few years ago, my father suffered a stroke, unnecessarily. Many years ago, my father was diagnosed with this condition, which was very chronic. It led to high blood pressure and then a stroke. It made my blood boil because I realized that it could have easily been prevented had his doctor offered him the right advice. This condition that he suffered from for many years was chronic inflammation. I remember distinctly him telling me this. It actually lit a fire in me to discover exactly what this inflammatory thing was all about. Coming from a nutritional background myself, I decided to research this condition. I kept on seeing this word everywhere and I became obsessed. I was like, what is this thing? Experts are calling it like what lies beneath, the silent killer, the holy grail of health. What is this thing? And I realized that the eczema from which I had suffered my entire life is actually an inflammatory condition. It's an inflammatory disease. Interestingly, the asthma he had suffered from for his whole life is an inflammatory condition. So let's talk about what inflammation is. The simplest way of thinking about it is it's your immune system under attack. When your body is exposed to things which your body doesn't recognize, it could be from the environment or it could be from certain foods that we eat. I'm doing this because some things that we eat shouldn't really be consumed by human beings. Some things cause your immune system to go under attack. So a low level of inflammation, is it's as if your immune system is under attack consistently. When it becomes chronic, it's when your immune system is under more attack consistently. And this is how it builds the foundations for disease. Another way of looking at inflammation is a measure of toxicity in your body. Most, if not all, chronic diseases are a result of inflammation and toxicity in the body and a suppressed immune system. So inflammation is really like your body's way of defending itself from alien invaders. Think about when you cut yourself, for example. Let's say you cut your arm. Your body does all it can to heal that wound. It becomes a little bit inflamed around it and over time it just seemingly miraculously just heals up. Our body is actually exactly the same thing. It wants to always heal itself all the time. Our bodies want to heal. It's, it's an innate ability that we all have. We all have this innate ability to heal our own bodies. The challenge is that we have been so conditioned by this modern culture, modern society, to not really listen to these communications from our body to change what we are doing and we tend to continue doing what's causing us harm and then mask symptoms by drugs. 
So we'll, we'll, we'll seek a drug, we'll go to a doctor and we'll all, almost have this expectation to be given a drug and it will hide the symptom, it will mask the symptom. Unfortunately, it actually allows what's happening underneath to get worse and worse and worse. Take asthma, for example. Asthma is something that is so prevalent these days. And what's the current treatment? Well, the treatment is a steroid inhaler. It's a little puffer. It's a localized steroid inhaler. What that does, it widens the airways to allow you to breathe. What people don't tell you, or doctors don't tell you, is that asthma is actually inflammation of the airways, inflammation of the bronchial tubes. And when you take a localized steroid inhaler, you're forgetting where that inflammation is coming from. So we can actually heal asthma by changing what we do, how changing what we eat, how we move our bodies, managing emotions, etc. There's lots of things that trigger inflammation. And there's lots of other conditions which can be very similarly compared with asthma. A really cool thing about the last few years, what I've experienced with not only myself, but with my clients, is that they've realized that this condition which they've often thought of as a curse, they've kind of switched it around to consider it as a gift. It's a gift because they've kind of listened to the symptoms. Symptoms are really kind of an action signal for change. Say, hey, Neil, or whatever your name is, change what you're doing because what you're doing isn't working. And they come out the other side because they heal their bodies. And then they realize that they've changed their lifestyles and they've changed their approach to food. Their energy goes up. The quality of time with their friends and family and kids and loved ones is greatly improved. And this is something I hear again and again and again. So this whole thing gets switched around. So we don't think of it as this, like being in this victim kind of mentality, which we tend to be in. We actually can see it as a gift. And then our lives transform when you actually work out how to heal your body. Remembering all of us have this innate ability to heal our own bodies. And when we listen to this communication from our bodies, rather than go to the doctor and get a drug, if we listen to it, then we can actually make remarkable things happen. And that's what I'm on a huge mission to get out to the world. These kinds of things my clients have experienced and I want you to experience the same thing. I don't want you to experience the same thing as my father had, you know. It went from inflammation to chronic inflammation to higher blood pressure, then a stroke. Textbook sequence of events, absolutely textbook. All of this is measurable. We can take blood tests. If you don't have symptoms of something, you could take blood tests right now to determine exactly your level of inflammation or toxicity in your body right now. This is all measurable. And again, this is something I really want you to understand because when, once you get a hold of this kind of stuff, your life can completely transform. If you're in a position now where you want to take on a full control, get, take your power back and heal your body, give it all the fuel it wants to heal, I invite you to watch the next video because I honestly believe, I know it is life-changing stuff. And you can check out all my case studies and testimonials too. Hit the link below this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.